Hello audience, my name is Anna. Editor Anna would like to welcome you for visiting Health Fitness 1047 and here is the official news that follow up. 1. Mika Singh tells Salman Khan, by who main by to fikar na kar, USKI. Fans call it a power pay kulhari. Move Mika Singh recently expressed his support for Salman Khan. Who is facing alleged death threats from Lawrence Bishnoi, following the murder of Khan's close friend, Baba Sadiq, for which Bishnoi's gang claimed responsibility. During a live performance, Mika dedicated a song from Shootout at Loquandwila to Salman, highlighting his solidarity with the actor amid growing security concerns. 2. Surya looking forward to Singa Magan. Makes you happy when legends give you mutual respect actor Surya expressed his excitement for the upcoming film, Sing Em Again, praising director Rohit Shetty and actor Ajay Devgan for enhancing the Sing Em franchise in Hindi. Surya, who starred as the lead cop in the original Tamil series, Sing Em, noted the mutual respect among legends in the industry. He highlighted that many of his Tamil films such as Gajani and Sorarai Potru have been adapted into Hindi. Surya also mentioned that he receives recognition across India during his travels. 3. Surya reveals one of his lowest times was before Sorarai Potru. How can I again be happy being? Actor Surya recently opened up about the challenges faced by actors in the film industry particularly during low points in their careers. While promoting his upcoming film Kanguva, he reflected on the pressure to remain relevant in an ever-evolving industry, noting that even successful actors experience uncertainty. He emphasized that the landscape changes every few years, making it difficult to connect with newer generations who may not be familiar with his earlier works like Kaka Kaka or Gajani. Surya won a Best Actor Award for his 2020 film Sorarai Potru, 4. This actor was once Regina Kant's competitor, suffered paralysis, then built a business worth 3,300 crore rupees Arvind Swami, a prominent Tamil actor, has led a life filled with dramatic highs and lows. Akin to the films he stars in, he debuted at 21 with renowned director Mani Ratnam, quickly rising to stardom comparable to legends like Regina Kanth and Mahmoodi. Despite facing challenges, including a spinal injury and paralysis, he successfully transitioned to business after a break from acting, maintaining his status as a celebrated figure in the industry. Swami gained immense popularity in the 90s for his performances in both Tamil and Hindi films. 5. Mani Ratnam is a big fan of Sai Pallavi and hopes to work with her someday at the audio launch of Sai Pallavi's upcoming film, Amarin, with Sivakar Dakayan. Director Mani Ratnam praised the actress, expressing his admiration and hope to collaborate with her in the future. He stated, I am a big fan, while Sai Pallavi acknowledged his influence on her career choices, noting that he has been an inspiration to her. 6. Surya bumps into Kajal Agarwal at the airport. Shares cute moment with her son actors Surya and Kajal Agarwal had a chance encounter at Mumbai airport on Saturday, where they greeted each other warmly. Kajal, who was with her family, introduced her husband Gautam and son Neil to Surya. A video captured Surya's delighted reaction upon seeing Kajal and he shared a sweet moment with her son, who appeared tired. 7. From Chennai 28 to Lubber Pandu Why Tamil films on cricket always hit it out of the park cricket-themed films have consistently succeeded in Hollywood. With the recent small Tamil film, Lubber Pandu, exemplifying this trend, the movie, which focuses on village life and incorporates elements of relationships, rivalry, and romance, 
has resonated well with audiences, leading to a remarkable box office performance. Made on a budget of approximately 5 crore rupees, it has grossed over 25 crore rupees, making it one of the most profitable Tamil films of 2024. This success highlights the enduring appeal of cricket in Tamil cinema. 8. Snakes and Ladders Review Teen actors' splendid performances salvaged this Kartik Subaraj-backed series, Snakes and Ladders, a web series featuring five school kids, was released on Amazon Prime Video on October 18. Despite being produced by well-known Tamil director Kartik Subaraj, his creative influence is not strongly felt in the series. The show, directed by debutantes Bharat Muralidharan, Ashok Virapan, and Kamala Alchemist, aims to deliver an adventurous experience reminiscent of Enid Blyton's Famous Five. However, the series suffers from poor writing, which undermines its potential as a young adult thriller. 9. Prabhas looks nothing like himself in fresh poster for the Raja Saab. New poster unveiled on 45th birthday A new poster for the film Asterisk The Raja Saab was released on Prabhas's birthday, showcasing him in a royal look with grey hair, indicating a transformation into an elderly character. This contrasts with a previous poster where he appeared as a young man. The drastic change suggests that Prabhas may play double roles in the film, which is written and directed by Maruthi. Fans are eagerly anticipating more details about the project. 10. Dulkar Salman I want to do three to four films a year each in different language. Dulkar Salman expressed his excitement for his upcoming Telugu film, Lucky Bhaskar, set to release during Diwali. Directed by Venki Adluri, the film features Dulkar as Bhaskar, a banker who embarks on a risky journey to improve his family's life. In a recent media interaction, he discussed his passion for exploring diverse roles and balancing projects across multiple languages. 11. Happy Birthday Prabhas, Chiranjeevi, Ram Sharan. Vijay Devarakonda wish more blockbusters for him Prabhas is celebrating his 45th birthday, receiving warm wishes from fans and colleagues on social media. His recent film, Kalki 2898 AD, features Amitabh Bachchan and Deepika Padukone. Notable figures in the industry, including Chiranjeevi, Ram Sharan, and Vijay Devarakonda, have expressed their appreciation for him online. 12. Sobita Dulipala takes time out from wedding prep to attend Manish Malhotra's Diwali party Sobita Dulipala attended fashion designer Manish Malhotra's Diwali party. Pausing her wedding preparations with Naga Chaitanya, she wore a silver and blue sari, complemented by earrings and bangles, and posed for the paparazzi at the event. Her wedding festivities had started earlier in the week, 